Hi, uh, hello everyone. Uh, so I'm going live. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me let me check my Facebook group and to make sure that it's really live that you can see me. Yep. Okay, it's on. So for those who have seen my earlier videos, I'm wondering if uh, how many of you have watched or yeah, seems like no one is watching right now. Uh, just give it a short little while and see if many uh, others is joining. Okay, uh, let me take a look. Yeah, seems like no one is watching right now. Uh, just... Okay, sorry, yeah, let me do some adjustment at this stage. Okay, thanks for joining me if you are, you are with me right now. Oh, apparently I can see that. I can see who is with me. Hi, uh, interesting. Okay, let me see, let me see. <laughs> okay, uh, now. So for those who have seen my earlier videos today, I'm going to show you another one that is somehow similar but not yet too similar. That is how we teach students not to memorize a certain solution. Remember, there is no memorization work in math. Yeah, maybe you need to memorize the formula but never a solution because yeah, you know, questions changes and once the question change, if you don't know the concept behind it, you may not be able to answer it. Okay, so along the way, if you have any questions, uh, let me know, jot down, I will be able to uh, do view the comments as well. All right, so here we go right now to this question proper. So very similar questions to what I had earlier on. But here is, uh, let's take a look now. Okay, uh, again, the same <laughs> Helen and Ali. But I make a slight tweak to this, whereby in the end, Ali would have 160 marbles more than Helen. Okay, so let's read the question again. Helen had 248 marbles more than Ali, remain the same. Okay, the same as previous. After Helen gave three quarters of the marbles to Ali, Ali had 160 marbles more than Helen. So how many marbles did Ali have at first? Okay, so this is the twist. Ali had 160 marbles more than Helen. Okay, so now if you were to follow exactly how I drew the model earlier on, you would have solved, you wouldn't have able to solve the question at all. Why? Because I've changed the information. Even though there's only one number change, but the whole model changes. Because you see that? So no memory work here, understanding, pure, pure understanding, alright? So so the same thing. Um, draw it at first and in the end model. So since I want to do a comparison with before, I will just duplicate another one easily because I have the software to do it. So replicate, duplicate this, and then remember, I'm going to work out all the changes in the end model, right? Following me? <laughs> okay, so far, okay. So now, going uh, with that, okay. So again, the same thing, I want you to ask your child what happens when this happens? Don't give them the solution yet, all right? Don't give them the solution. So ask, what happens if Helen were to give 248 marbles to Ali? Exact same thing as what I did just now. So you, ha you would have noticed that, ah, Ali would now have 248 marbles more than Helen. Is this what the question says? No. Because the question say Ali only had 160. And then if you know that 160, and what does it mean? It means that Helen did not give more than 248. In fact, she gave less. Right? So this is how you understand the question. You know the implication of a so-called cause and the effect. So Max is not about memorizing. Max is about understanding. Understanding the cause and the effect. So that's how I teach. I don't just strong dump you the solution. So that is why you don't see me often in PSLU group also. I, I don't really pluck throwing the solution. I will explain the solution, the concept behind it. Okay, so this is like what I, I'm doing right now. I'm explaining this concept so that you know how to go about drawing the model. And of course, in the later, uh, in, in another live tutorial, I'm going to show you how um, to do another, I mean, to do it another way that is without the model, all right? But today, for this tutorial, I'm going to use model. So now, let's revert to the original, 
Okay, since we have identified that particular implication from there, that is Helen gave less than 160, oh sorry, gave less than 248. With that, let's think about uh, this part here, 160, okay? This is the important. And then what do I do with the remaining portion? I will divide it into two. Why? Are you with me? Okay, why? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you why in this animation right now. You see that why? So that in the end, Ali would have 160 more than Helen, as indicated in the question, right? So that's the reason why the remaining portion of this blue blue block, right? You have to divide by two because there are two people, right? Then, what does it mean? Okay, let's revert now. Huh? So this is the number of marbles that Helen gave away. One unit plus 160. So how do you go about solving the value of the one unit? Let's revert to the original. This is how it is. And that represents your Okay, so we know this is the, the number that is three quarter of Helen, and of course, <laughs> the other is one quarter. It does not matter if your model is not proportionate. It can never be unless you know the answer. Okay, even for me, I know the answer, but yet, uh, because I, I used my previous slide, so all the proportion is out. So don't worry. So that is why laboring your model is so important. Remember, if you want to make use of your model to, to have you solve the question, you must labor it. Okay, so, and since I have labored everything correctly, as you have, as you have seen in this presentation, you will not go wrong. Even though how, even though you have not drawn it proportionally or whatever it is, it does not matter. Okay, so now we have to solve what is the value of one unit. So how do we do it? As you can see from the model, your two units plus one hundred sixty is two hundred forty-eight, and then one unit. As you go along, you solve it. You solve it. One unit is forty-four. Okay, still with me? All right, some more are joining me. Okay, so if you know that, then what What do you do? What do you do? Okay, look at the model again, because as you can see, different from the previous example, Ellen, uh, sorry, Ellen, <laughs> in order to calculate the number of marbles Ali uh, had at first, you actually need to do, to work out what is Helen's one quarter. And then from there, you minus 44. So if we know what is 3 quarter, remember what we said just now? 3 quarter of Helen's marble is actually 1 unit plus 160. So 3 quarter is 204. Then what is 1 quarter? Is 204 divided by 368. And then, can you see from the model? <laughs> is 68 minus your one unit, which is 44. Okay, so that is your answer. And for this type of question, the beauty of it, you know what, is that you can work it out, check your answer to see if you derive the same information as what's stated. Okay, so you can count. Okay, so if Ali had 240, uh, 24, then Helen would have 248 plus 24, and, and you so and so on. So you work out what is three quarter of hers, then you give away three quarter of Helen's and you add the three quarter back to Ali. You see if at the end you get the same difference of 160, which in fact, I mean, in this case you should. <laughs> All right. So, so this is how you do your 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 um, problem solve uh, problem solving. So it, the any one of you have any question here that uh, or is any part of the explanation not clear enough? Uh, do type in the comments uh, so that I know and I can improve on that. Anyone? Yeah, this is like, <laughs> okay, uh, or, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, did anyone have any? As so, uh, any more? Okay, if uh, I, I hope that um, this I don't know because life 
good thing is that it's interactive. You can ask me any questions if if there is. <laughs> if there's any questions, you can just ask me. Oh my, do you hear some background noise? My kids <laughs> are calling right now. Okay, so I, I see that maybe there aren't any uh, other questions that you want to ask me, so I will end off. And if you do have, you can still type in the comments um, for those who have not watched me live. And with that, I hope to see you around, okay? And goodbye.